So we went up the drive after Chloe woke up at 7 o'clock today. And, oh my god, first of all, that was crazy because she woke up really, really late. But we went to cash my check and whatever and get uh, some money out of the bank. And we called Sean and Jose and I was all like, let's go eat or do something. Because if I spend any more time in my house, I'm going to go completely mental. So we went to eat and then we went up to Marcello's and as per usual on a Friday night, Marcello's was packed and I wasn't really feeling it. So I was like, okay, I'm not going to eat Marcello's. As I'm walking past... A watching penguins. Yeah, you're watching the singing penguins. So I'm walking past... Sure. Yeah. Magpie Books, which is on the drive. Sure. Sure, sure, no problem. Sure, sure, no problem. <laughs> anyway, it's closing. It's a bird. They're having a 25% no off problem. sale. Because they're closing. And I was like, oh my god. That's... <laughs> blows my mind. There's no way that... Anyway, I'm glad that we went up there yesterday, or today, I guess, because I probably would have missed out on everything. Um, fudge. I was going to show you guys what I got. Hold on. I'll be right back. Crazy baby. Okay, so Adbusters. Art on paper magazine. Uh, what's this? Threads about sewing. I don't know. I just bought it because I was like, whatever, maybe I'll get some ideas from it or something. Yeah. Knit one. Also a magazine. Oop. Knit one. Maybe I'll make some stuff. It's got ideas in it. Things I could do. <laughs> Simple things. 35 fast and fun. Looks to make in second slot. Yay. So that's good. Um, the meaning of everything. Which is by the same guy as the professor and the madman. Uh, it's about the story of the Eng Oxford English Dictionary. Very cool. Um, exact fare only two. The good, bad, and ugly rides on public yeah. transit. Apparently it's a book of short stories about public transit. <laughs> Just insanely appropriate for my life. Um, the Daily Life of the Etruscans. By Jacques Rudigon. I don't know. Wall paintings and stuff. It's a big, thick book. I'll read it. It'll be fun. Um, sure. sure. Golden Treasures of Troy. The Dream of Heinrich Sleeman. Ah. Sleeman is my favorite. I don't know. I'm a bit of a nerd like that. This is exciting for me. So I'm excited about that. I'm gonna read that one. This one's pretty. It's called The Great God Pan by Donna Jo Napoth. Or Napoli, I guess, maybe. Anyway, it's pretty. And I don't know if it'll be any good or not. But it's a nice book. And you can never have too much about Pan, in my opinion. It just keeps going, it doesn't stop. Coffee. Cultural history from around the world. Gee, I wonder why that's relevant to my yeah. life. Mommy likes coffee. Candy from strangers. Kids and consumer culture, which I'm going to read probably right away. I'm very excited about this one. Patently erotic. Um... Tearaway bras, couples chairs, vibrating condoms, and other patented strokes of genius. About stuff. I don't know. It's like illustrated. That might give me some ideas too. <laughs> I didn't mean to be naughty there. Sorry. 
Um, the Complete Coffee Book, A Gourmet Guide to Buying, Brewing, and Cooking. Coffee book. It's a coffee table book about coffee. Ironic and postmodern. It's not over. This is the last one. Organic Ink, Natural Foods, and How They Grew. Which I think is about, like, the... Big organics from humble origins and small countercultural farms. So I'm very interested in this as well. Total price of everything that I bought this evening, $75.98. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten books, and four magazines. $75. I went a little crazy, but it's all good. Anyway, and we rented on the way home. <gasps> oh, crud. Strangers with candy. From applause. I spilled her juice, and it would clean that up. That's the end of this video.